can start talking to. So, hello, welcome. Um, very happy to see you here for this session about Wikimedia Commons. I initially um, uh, gave the title of Mastering Seven Tools, but mastering is a very difficult word. So I said seven plus tools to help in Wikimedia Commons. Uh, uh, my, uh, so my name is Halim Henni, and my username on the Wikimedia project is uh, Diol77. Uh, I joined the movement of Wikimedia since 2010, and also I'm a Wikimedia, admin, uh, Wikimedia Commons admin. In this presentation, I will uh, show how or why Commons is so complicated to edit, especially for newcomers. Uh, how we get assistance with some gadgets, scripts, and tools. Everyone can use them on the project. Also, there is another thing you can use to facilitate and to have um, uh, your files not deleted from Wikimedia Commons is using the volunteer response team permissions. So why it's complicated to edit Wikimedia Commons? I want to know if you have any, after this uh, uh, question and the session, if you have any issues, issues with uh, uh, Wikimedia Commons and why you have this issue. issue. Uh, when I started Wikimedia Commons, I wrote my user page in French. And there is an admin who came and deleted my page because it was in French. Yes. Yes. So it's not, uh, by the way, Wikimedia Commons is the free storage for files for all Wikimedia projects. And it has no language, but we used to have language English as a language. So maybe because it's in English, uh, people don't appreciate uh, uh, using Wikimedia Commons. And at least in my community, also in Arabic community, they don't. Uh, they have uh, a fear using Wikimedia Commons. The platform is complex, large and complex. Yeah, I remember we have now over 65 billion files. Uh, the rules are strict, very, very strict. So not they, 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 uh, Wikimedia Commons don't, doesn't have the same rules as other projects. For example, in English Wikipedia, you can use the full fair use, but in Wikimedia Commons, it's not tolerated. It's restricted for only free, uh, all free files. Free files, uh, at least CC by SA. Uh, the licenses and requirements are complex. That's why I talked about the licenses and the Creative Commons licenses uh, welcome it in Wikimedia Commons, but not all of them. Only CC by SI, by, but if you have a restriction on use of commercial use or derivative work, you can't use it in Wikimedia Commons. We have repetitive tasks. We are, we, I was talking with my colleague about how uploading several photos, several images in one, so there is, uh, you, you cannot do this for hundreds of photos. Uh, maybe competition. There is a competition who is uploading the more photos, uh, best qualities, and uh, having awards. Also, competition for the rules. That's why all of this makes Wikimedia Commons so complicated. How to fix this? As I uh, as I done, as I did. Uh, sorry, uh, I consulted a lot of documentation in English. Uh, practicing, I did mistakes also. Uh, complying with the rules, if an admin or uh, an editor asks you to stop doing a thing, stop doing it. Uh, I ask it questions for people who are now and uh, they uh, kindly respond to me. Enabling gadget, which I will show you. Uh, adding scripts, it's not very complicated to add the script that helps you to edit. And using upload tools for the mass upload. So we have three means of uh, um, help. The first one is gadget. So if you go to your account on Wikimedia Commons, you have your preferences and you can 
uh, have this gadget uh, activated from this uh, tabulation and you can search for, for gadget in the search bar. So when I talk about uh, a gadget, you can write its name and search it and enable it. You, uh, you can use the script. So what is a script? It's a little code you can add to your uh, commons when JS. You can create this page and add any code in this page. Uh, of course, you change your username or your real username. Also, you can you have not to write scripts. You can import them from trusted users, as I will show you in this demonstration. And you can upload tools. Tools are there for helping you to upload a uh, lot of images. You can scan this uh, QR code and you have access to all the tools in uh, uh, the page. And I will not, and I have not, I have not the time to talk about all the tools. I will pick uh, some tools uh, very interesting. So we have three means of uh, help here. I start for, for the first one, who are the gadget. You can activate this gadget who is cut a lot. And by the way, it's a Wikimedia 24 coolest tool award. So it's very cool to use this uh, gadget. And what is doing this tool? This tool is helping moving, removing, and adding files. Not one file, but a bunch of files. So you have a category, and you want to make uh, changes in uh, this category. You can use it by this tool. So you, uh, it's. Uh, uh, a very, very, very cool tool. Very, uh, I use it every day when I use uh, uh, Wikimedia Commons. Also, you can access this uh, page in uh, so uh, short uh, URL, uh, 3MGI. The second gadget, oh yeah, this is Visual File Change, Bench or the Bench Task. Perform bench task. So, so imagine you have uh, an uploader who uploaded a lot of uh, images, and you want to modify all or add. For example, you can uh, replace, prepend any text, append any text, uh, make or uh, signal that there is a copyright violation, copyright violation derivative. Also add no permission, no source, no source derivative, uh, OTR or v, v, uh, VTR, remove tag, or add VTR tag. All of this, you can uh, just by clicking on this button and you can add all this information or modification to the description uh, file for, uh, for, for this category or the, the, the file displayed in a gallery. So it's very helpful to, to manipulate a lot of images. I use it uh, especially for my role as administrator to add uh, text in fa on files or even to, um, to remove text, to add text uh, for a lot of uh, files. The third is crop tool, yeah. Uh, this just reminding you that you can access by ah, it's missing the short net URL. I don't know if it works, but uh, I will give you the, the right link after the session. Then we have the crop tool. So some images when you upload to Media Commons, you want just a part of them, not only the image. Uh, online, it's possible to have a crop tool. Uh, so you don't want to. Um, uh, download the file uh, using uh, software, but you can use a crop tool uh, in the Wikimedia Commons just to select and crop your image. It's very cool, and that's why it's <coughs> it's the coolest uh, tool award for uh, 2020. So MediaWiki tools for cropping images with at Wikimedia Commons and other Wikimedia sites. Very cool gadget. Uh, for people who are using location of their uh, files, for example here, this is 
uh, where I have uh, my studies and I add the location <coughs> You can easily add the location of this uh, when, where you did you uh, took this photo by using this locator tool. It's very simple to use. You have this map. You, need, you must know at least where is your uh, object, where you did you pick this picture, and you can add it automatically in the description file of your image. And this is also the link of uh, of this gadget. As I said, you can search for the gadget under your preferences and gadget and you activate it. Also, you have the documentation uh, near the description of the gadget. Yeah, rotation. Now, so we can take pictures in the uh, wrong direction, like uh, this position, and you can make a request or request a rotation for this file. So let's say you, you take a portrait photo, but it's a landscape. You can ask this tool to rotate it. Uh, not uh, you don't need to download the game the file and rotate it manually. So it's a gadget for rotating files, and it's uh, giving you how long you wait to the application be made by a bot. Yeah, but, uh, now this is time for scripts. As I said, you add your command.js, your script, the script, or you just import it. Uh, here, a very useful uh, script I use to clean up uh, description of files. Sometimes the file have wrong description or the description is not complete. You can automatically uh, clean up the description by using this script. Also, I have another use for this script just to access the edit button very quickly because it's near the image. Just I clean, uh, click on clean uh, uh, JavaScript and edit the page. It's a very uh, uh, very short access to the edit uh, button. So for clean up of my description page and also I use it to edit the uh, description page uh, of file. This is the first script. The second script is uh, <coughs> for people who are common with uh, uh, vectorial uh, graphic images or uh, the SVG files, clickable, uh, well, not clickable. Uh, I forgot the name. Vectorial images are not like uh, uh, PNG files or GP, uh, JPG uh, files. Here, the file is a text, and the text generates uh, um, an image. Like here, like this is a diagram I, 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 I draw, and it's text. So you can uh, download the text and make um, modification uh, with it, but you can do this uh, directly from the description of the file. Why? Sometimes, uh, like in this uh, example, the illustration is in English. And this text is also included in the text of the file. So if you want to translate this image into another language, you can open uh, the, this, uh, this script uh, by uh, clicking, I think it's in the top of uh, the page, and you search for this term and just write the word in your language and you save a file and it will be automatically translated in this file so make sure to uh, have another file not work on the uh, original file to translate so this uh, cool this uh, cool uh, script i use it for uh, sometimes it's buggy but yeah if you want to quickly change uh, svg file it's possible to use this script yeah, now I'm talking with uh, the mass upload tools. I used to upload with the uh, communist. Communist is broken now. Now I am mainly using Patipan. So, <coughs> Patipan, what's this? If you have hundreds of photographs, hundreds of images, and you want, you want to upload them on Wikipedia Commons. So you don't have to go to the upload tool. Uh, 
and uh, give me the comments. Just use this uh, uh, code of this program. It's okay. It's an uh, uh, it's an open source tool. You can install it on your machine, um, Linux or Windows. And how what uh, how it works? When you select a folder, it creates a, a file. Uh, um, uh, Category? A sheet. Huh? Category? No, no. If you have a file, uh, your files on your desktop. So you have, uh, let's say, 100 files. And you want to upload them on Wikimedia Commons. So this tool, it selects all the files in your category, not in your category, folder. in your desktop, in your um, folder. folder, yes, in the folder, and creates a, a table with the name the category, the description, you can modify this table, then with this tool you can upload all these images to Wikimedia Commons. So uh, I will use it for Wikidata, for example, I will have a lot of images to upload, so I will use this tool, and if you want some uh, demonstration, I will, I will show you. This, uh, this is a very, very cool tool, uh, it helps me a lot for uh, posting, for posting, uploading a lot of uh, images, and other uh, files in uh, on Wikimedia Commons. Yeah, it's very cool. It's maintained, and it's very easy uh, to to use it. Yeah, video to comments. This is a big problem with uh, uh, users. They want their videos on Wikimedia Commons. As you know, Wikimedia Commons only accepts free licenses. For example, we can't upload MP4. You can't upload AVI, so you have to convert them to open to WebM or to OG, OGG. Uh, but there is a tool on on. Uh, so how how I use it? I upload my my uh, my video to, to YouTube, and I ask this tool to import. Of course, with the freelancers, because when you upload a photo, um, a video on YouTube, you can uh, choose the freelancers, you see by SA 2.0. Then I will ask this uh, tool to import this video from YouTube with the description on everything. And you have here, uh, you can upload a list of uh, just by adding the, adding some, uh, the URL, yes. And uh, yeah. This is where you get this tool. It's very, very helpful for videos. Yeah, now I will speak about the VRT. So let's say you have a lot of photographs, but they are not your work. They are work from others. And these people uh, gave you the permission to publish them with the free uh, license. But you don't know how. Uh, there is a group of volunteers. Uh, you just email them, and with the permission from the uh, uh, from the copyright from the copyright holder, yes. And then this permission, they say that they um, publish their work under the specific uh, license. For example, CC by SA 4.0, and uh, they will keep these files on Wikimedia Commons. Otherwise, if they don't hear that have this permission, these files will be deleted. So you can just uh, get some information from this link, three and seven H, and you have all the the, the procedure. So you can have the uh, text and just adapt it with your uh, uploads. And from this. Step, you can send this message to the, uh, the team, and the team make the necessary to maintain this file on Wikimedia Commons. I think yes. Thank you, and I really hope you are uh, you have some ideas about my the gadget. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, this is my username on Wikimedia Commons. If you want to contact me, so oh, by the way, uh, seventy-seven is my year of birth and your if you read it from the right it's Floyd so I'm fan of Pink Floyd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any question?
Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I think it's over for today in this room. Yes. And uh, thank you for being there.